Top Dower, welcome back to Court TV Live. Glad to have you along with us on this Friday. Happy Friday to everybody. The judge has just taken the bench in that trial for the Michigan mom accused of murder. Uh, and uh, we have word that this woman, the defendant, Chandra Vanderhart, is having, quote, a medical issue at the jail and will not be in the courtroom. But the judge has decided they're going on without her. So the trial's moving forward. She's going to apparently monitor what's going on from jail. She was expected, of course, to face those jury questions when things got up and running today. Yesterday, of course, she had that uh, incident on the stand uh, just at the end of the day, so they called it for the day. And uh, apparently, she's not coming to court. But Michigan's moving forward as this uh, moves its way through. She's accused of murder, child abuse, of course, for the death of her 15-year-old son, Timothy Ferguson. Let's uh, go into court right now. The judge just uh, took the bench. Jury is not present. Uh, we'll listen and see how, what's, how this is all gonna unfold. All right, so we are back on the record in file 23110FC. It's people of the state of Michigan versus Shonda Vander Ark. This is day uh, four of a jury trial. Right, make sure to reflect that Mr. Johnson is present in the courtroom uh, representing Ms. Uh, Vanderark. Mr. Roberts is here on behalf of the people of the state of Michigan. Ms. Uh, Vanderark uh, is not present. Uh, my understanding, uh, Mr. Johnson, is uh, that she is suffering some medical distress this morning. And um, I know you want to put something on the record regarding that before we go forward, so you may proceed. I do, Your Honor. <clears throat> my, my client is, is suffering a medical issue. Uh, we were hoping that uh, given some, some time this morning, we'd be able to get her to a point where she'd be able to come and, and join us. She'd be confident to do so. Uh, uh, the court's been gracious for a trial that's supposed to start at 9 o'clock. It's now 10 minutes to 11, and, and we appreciate the court's uh, grace in, in allowing us to work with her and, and hopefully get her to the point where she can come in and co participate in her own trial. Uh, I must report to the, to the court at this point that that, that situation has not occurred. Uh, that she at this point is not able to, to, to participate uh, in trial uh, given this medical situation. Uh, that. Uh, um, as a result of that, she's been basically we, we, we've gone over a couple of options. One, ask for to adjourn this this case until a later date. But uh, quite frankly, the, the situation that brought on this medical situation is occurring and is part of the stress of being on trial. So uh, the the reality is. We, we couldn't guarantee the court that as of Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday of next week that we'd be in a different situation than they are in right now. And in fact, uh, for the record, I, I anticipate we'd be right back to where we are right now, even, those, even if we waited a few days to, to, to work on things. Uh, the, in that situation, I, I explained to my, my client her options. She could uh, 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 come, come up to the courthouse, courtroom uh, uh, on her own volition or, or with his assistance and participate in the, in the hearing, or she could uh, waive her right to be here and, and avoid this, and, and not avoid, but, but to not participate as we go forward. She has chosen the latter. She's chosen to, to waive her right to be here. Uh, she, she's requesting uh, uh, not, to, not to come back again she, uh, for, for this purpose. She is, she is not requesting an iPad or any other, A, to allow her to watch the, the proceedings uh, from where she is. Uh, she is content to, to, uh, to rest at this point and, and simply allow her, her legal team to go forward, representing her in this matter and concluding this particular trial. Therefore, I'm asking the court at this point to uh, continue uh, with the trial and uh, without my client being present. Thank you. Great. Uh, Mr. Johnson, my understanding too, as well as uh, speaking to the deputies, uh, I mean, as was asking, hey, what's going on with the progress? And they indicated that she had uh, made some statements that she potentially could hurt herself. Is that correct, your understanding? I, I didn't hear them, but I heard those comments from a source that, that I, I rely on and have no uh, basis to, to believe that's not accurate. And, and quite frankly, in conjunction with my experience or with her this morning, I can see how she might have made those statements. Okay. All right. So that was also a concern for the court as well. So, Mr. Roberts, any comments you wish to make on that? Uh, Your Honor, the, the only thing I would ask, uh, if we could, at some point, and we don't necessarily have to do it right now, is because this is a critical stage, stage of the proceedings. 
um, that we would uh, have something, at uh, the time it becomes available, something in writing from her, waiving her right to be here. Um, in terms of her not being present, we also have to address the fact that she did not answer the jurors' questions. Uh, I've indicated in chambers that, that while I, I certainly recognize that the court rules do allow for jurors to ask questions here, that it, it is certainly not been a practice for a very long period of time, just recently adopted by the Supreme Court as a practice, and that I would, I would think we could proceed without her presence and without answering the jurors' questions. I think we have to address it in some fashion for the jurors so they understand that, and they're obviously smart enough to, to look over the table and see that she's not here. Um, but I, I don't believe that that would, in, that would in any way cause her testimony to be stricken here or, or allow the jury to put the jury in a position where they're not uh, allowed to at least consider the testimony that has been given. It's, it's probably frustrating for them, but quite frankly, uh, a few of those questions were questions that weren't going to be able to be asked anyway because of different legal reasons. Um, so I, I don't think there's anything here that we need to do in terms of, uh, besides addressing it for the jury, however the court sees fit, and getting it right at this point. Okay, Mr. Johnson, uh, any uh, objection to proceeding without the jury questions being asked? I, I, I know that I told both attorneys in chambers, it's a little bit frustrating to me because I think it, you know, we gave, we told the jury where they have an opportunity to answer questions and they're getting deprived of that opportunity, but uh, Mr. Roberts is correct, it's a relatively new practice. Um, are you okay proceeding without having those questions asked to your client? I am, Your Honor, and I amplify what Mr. Roberts has just said. There are some uh, courts in this, even in this building, who do not even allow questions at this, still at this juncture. So uh, it is a relatively new process. It, 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 it is a situation that's unavoidable. I think the court is justified in informing the jury that those questions won't be asked and, and then proceeding forward. Okay. Um, in terms of preference, Mr. Johnson, of, of what to tell the jury versus not tell the jury, my, my thinking, we could go as we could go as, as vague as, unfortunately, she's not available this morning. We could say she's had a medical emergency and she cannot be here. I, I guess it's, um, I don't want anything we say to the jury to potentially prejudice her, uh, but I'll, I'll guess I'll leave it to you for your input what, we, what you would prefer from the court. Your Honor, I think what we what the court has expressed here in this, this courtroom is appropriate, and and what we've expressed in the in the chambers, uh, I, I I have no uh, problems with leaving it to the courts. Uh, uh, I'm not going to try to micromanage the things the court says. Simply expressing the, that she can't be here is a medical situation. Okay. That's all we've asked for, and I think that's appropriate. Okay, is that is that acceptable, to you, Mr. Roberts? I, I I'd have to defer to the defense on this question anyway, Judge.